The, it's not, Gizfiz is just not at a good time <laughs> for me and my life. I always think, ah, man, I'd love to just hang around and check it out. And then I'm always like driving in things. the middle of like errand. Yeah, I'm picking up stuff. And uh, it, it works out. It's fine because it is, it is no uh, problem at all to, uh, right. to get it. But no, yeah. I, I never find myself in a time that I can just sit and enjoy. Well, I remember when I got my 50-foot houseboat and someone said, how could you ever afford a 50-foot houseboat? I said, well, I'm working for MAD. I'm writing the match game. I do a monthly boating column. Uh, I, I wrote it. I'm writing a book. And all my I friends said, chipped in. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I work seven days a week. And he said, well, I can't work seven days a week. I said, well, then you're never going to have a 50-foot houseboat. Then you can't own a 50-foot yeah. houseboat. Funny how yeah. that works. That is so yeah. funny. Yeah, who is it? Um, that money guy. Uh, who's known for all the money? He's like the money radio guy. Um, the money radio guy. He says, uh, oh gosh. The chat would know, but I'm trying to get the live show up on the website, so I can't look at the moment. Dan or something? Duh. Dave? Dave? Why does this sound familiar? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, website is updated. Okay, very good. <laughs> Let me get into the chat room. Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. They knew it. Pack and W. Thank you. They knew it. Dave Ramsey. He he says one of his little. Uh, I feel like that's what all of these uh, radio hosts. They all have like that one line that they repeat over. Anyway, D Dave's one of his one lines is live like no one else. And he's talking about li living cheaply, living like inexpensively, so that in the future you can live like no one else. You know, what I mean? like, oh, okay. you have money. Okay. But that reminds me of your houseboat. Yeah, yeah. I live no, like I no one who... else. Seven jobs, <laughs> eighteen no, responsibilities. Absolutely. absolutely. So that I, rem I remember um, when I went to analysis, I was saying you know how much work and and the doctor said people think that there's a, it's a five-day work week it is a seven-day <laughs> week and you can work any of those hours and that's that's the way I, I did it back when i was <laughs> doing everything yes you know someone said uh can you write this i go yeah and they go we need it by monday i go okay he they said but it's friday I said, yeah, so I had Saturday and Sunday. I think that's also how procrastinators work. I know that's what I think of, is I think of, do I have three more hours? <laughs> <laughs> three more hours would mean I'd finish this project at 2 a.m., but I think I can do, I think I can pull that off. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's very funny. Yeah, that's it. I think... That's the problem with kids today. Nobody wants the kid, to. That's right. Hey, Steve D, Captain J, T.I., Spaceman. Oh, my God. It is I true, Scooter X. My shirt is in reference <laughs> to the Taylor album. Coming out in hours. Oh, my, oh hours. that's just midnight, right? Ah, yes. I will not get any sleep tonight. Oh Last God. album. This is what this crazy lady did. Taylor Swift is who I'm talking about. She released an album at midnight. The album was one of the longest, this is the last album. The album was one of the longest albums ever. And then at 3 a.m., she released another edition of the album. And everyone had to listen to like three more tracks. It was like, oh my oh gosh, my I'm ready to go to oh bed, Taylor. God. Please stop making more music. <laughs> Uh, I did. Uh, I did watch their store on uh, on uh, Disney Plus in my Vision Pro. Oh my god! Oh my god! That must have been good. <laughs> yeah. So they did. They did the whole three hour and twenty minute movie on Disney Plus. They do. They have all of it, including all of the all of the deleted songs. All of the. Uh, oh my so god! It's the entire. Okay. The entire. And I think they even rearranged it. So the one that was in movie theaters, uh, well, I guess there was an extended, they did a second run. I'm not sure if y'all 
remember this, but there was another, <laughs> they released it and then they released it again with like two more oh, songs. Chalanta, I went to that okay. too and watched those, but that was <laughs> out of order. That was out of order. It wasn't, they added two more songs, but then they just added it at the end. They were oh, just like, I after see. the credits, here are the songs. Because they didn't, oh. they didn't edit it. No, it wasn't. A, it wasn't. I, I just watched it in the Vision Pro. It wasn't a Vision Pro uh, format. It wasn't. It was just 2D. Uh, I know it's on the tour. Yeah, it has been leaked. But I am a good Swifty, and I will not listen to the leaks mm -hmm. until I still have not listened to the leaks, and I will not until midnight. I also bought this album oh, five times. Oh, they're leaking so. a new album already. Oh yeah, it's easy nowadays. Because here's what happens especially with physical album releases, is the album shows up at Walmart and Waxahachie, you know, wherever, and they break the seal on the pallet that just came from the factory, and they pull a CD, and then they upload it. You know, it's oh, just oh, too I simple see. to get the files nowadays. Oh, um, oh. It was great, Becky. I had a wonderful, we, I took a weekend trip, and it was fantastic. Oh, very good. So yeah, it was, it was, uh, anyway, that's what I'll be doing, um, all night. You can definitely get in contact with me probably past <laughs> 2 a.m. would be my guess. Okay. Uh, well, I'm 2 a.m. I'm just getting ready for bed, so. Oh man, I have, I have switched, well, I have not switched recently, but there was a time I had switched over to being a night, uh, a morning person, not a night owl. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I cannot say that at the moment. It's not been good for about two weeks. <laughs> Have not been keeping my sleep schedule. Uh, you win some, you lose some. You know what I mean? For some reason. Scooter Google. Rex is building boats in your attic. Okay. I hope they're not big boats. I do. I have a habit. It is true, Magoo. There is no... Why is my, one second, my Google Drive isn't working, which means that I don't have some of the files at the moment. So Captain J went to a restaurant that serves breakfast at any time, so he ordered French toast during the Renaissance. Mm, mm, mm. How was it? Was it very Da Vinci? <laughs> uh, okay, cool. uh, uh, one sec. I just noticed an issue with my mm, mm, files. J5, so what time do you go to bed if you're having dinner at 3 a.m.? Mm -mm -mm. I was feeling so proud of my... I was. There was, for about a solid month and a half, I was able to wake up at 5 a.m. Just about every day. Wow. 5 a.m., yeah, I was... Wow. Well, I wake up at 6 a.m. because that's when they drop the New York Times off, but then I go right back to bed. Uh, Becky, Stooge, Michael. Hey, diggity, so we are back. Sorry. Uh, it's, this is the video I'm trying to get. I can't get it. There it is. Mm -hmm. Loke, geek wannabe, Caesar, hi, hi. Oh, so you watch, you watch uh, World News Now, eh? Okay, there we go, got it. 
Okay. Okay, I am all good. Sorry about the delay. Oh, there is no delay. Oh, there's no delay. <laughs> there is no delay. I thought I was right up on crunch time. I was like, I gotta get this video as fast as I can. Let's so I'm gonna try. There's that. Time. So the. Hi, Dick. There we go. Sounds good. Oh, perfect, perfect. Uh, so. Uh, on this episode, the Gizwiz has an exciting new LED bulb. Another Ooh. what the heck is it? Your third on sale gadget. Yeah. And view a video. Oh, perfect. Okay. LED, <laughs> LED bulb. What the heck is it? Another crappy corner and a viewer video. Yeah. Here mm -hmm. we go. Everybody ready? Let's do it. Here we go in three, two. <clears throat> On this episode of the Gizwiz Diggity has another fantastic LED bulb for us. We also have another what the heck is it? I have a gadget that's on sale that'll make your morning commutes a bit better plus fantastic viewer video. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same damn show with Dicky D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the chairman of the tortured gadgets department. Dick D. Bartolo, <laughs> how you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing good, sir, and you? Doing great. I have been looking forward to this day for months. Oh, yes, 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 your your friend? Yes. Has she been by the house at all lately? No, you know, her and Travis, they are just gotten so lovey-dovey ever since they've started oh. dating each other. They never come around anymore. Okay. Oh, you know, wasn't there something on the news tonight that Travis lost his ring? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I know I that his brother his... lost his ring, Jason. He could he's <laughs> he keeps losing thought, it. Yeah, no. The Super Bowl it's... ring. Yeah, yes. <laughs> there was something about that. So it's it's like like worth twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, there's diamonds in that thing. It's like solid yeah. gold. And yeah, evidently might have been... they, they had a fake one and a real one, but I think the newscaster said the real one got lost. So. <laughs> yeah, and I think you're talking about Jason Kelsey. In the, he has a documentary, yes. and the very start of the documentary, he's looking for his ring, and it's just oh. like <laughs> the classic like wife-husband, you know, husband's searching everywhere, and his wife is just like, I told you you were going to lose this thing. I told you that you shouldn't have brought it to that party because now you've misplaced it. Like, it was just so funny. Oh, um, God. So, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, those who are who are still confused, uh, Taylor Swift is dropping her 11th studio album. Uh, not counting. These are the original, not counting the re-records. Tortured Poets Department. They don't even sell merch for this album yet because it's not out. So, I had to make my own merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> with a cricket and uh, an iron-on press. Oh, so, what does it say? Well, you know, I can't read. Yeah, read. I don't know if you're going to be able to. I, I didn't quite. I don't also don't have a great uh, other camera. But it says, all is fair in love and poetry. Sincerely, the chairman. Which is oh. uh, one of the kind of lyrics we kind of got. And then this is the TTPD logo that Taylor's kind of using. I just Googled it. Wow. Wow. Slapped it, slapped so you it. made a thousand of those. <laughs> this one is one of a kind, baby. One, one of a kind. Of a one kind. of a kind. Yeah. Yeah. I, I whipped out the, the cricket, and uh, they have this really cool transferable ink uh, option. So I, I went, went for that. And, you know, crickets are kind of known for their vinyl. You know, you, you make yeah, a I, vinyl I, I, thing. I, yeah, and so I didn't. I, I thought with the cricket, you cut the stuff out and ironed it on. So you can, and 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 I think what I had in my mind was, yeah, you'd iron on like a vinyl, so it would be yeah. like a like a layer on top. And but they had a product that I hadn't seen. And some people are Sims to Rachel's talking about infusible ink, and oh. it's really cool because it works very much like sublimation. Where, oh, sublimation paper. Uh, this is Michael. Oh, Epson does that too. Anyway, so yeah, you get this paper and has a cool texture on it, and then you use the Cricut to cut. You know, using the knife. Um, this one just happened to be just a solid black, but you could get 
a, like a galaxy pattern or like a floral print, and then that would be what is underneath. And the cool thing is when it transfers, it transfers like ink, unlike the vinyl. So it's not like a second layer. Oh, this is oh, like I, yeah. ink that I got printed at a so, store. So you printed it and then ironed it on or you put your shirt in the Cricut machine? So you buy like a sheet of paper. You st oh, okay. it's, so, it's so many processes. It's so many steps, but I'll go through the processes. You buy the infusible ink paper. You stick that onto this backing board that's slightly tacky. You put that into the Cricut machine. The Cricut machine uses a knife to cut out this design, oh, then oh, oh. you peel everything you don't want. So you peel all the negative space, all the, all the other stuff you don't want, you peel that off. It's kind of wasteful <laughs> in a way. And then you stick down what's left and then iron that on to the shirt. Um, and how you kind of make it last is you can add a lot of elements to one, uh, you know, it's almost like a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of stuff, but you can add a lot of elements and use your scissors and cut them out, which is what I did here. So I added a ton of elements to one, I cut them out, and then I just placed it almost like old school copy and paste. Uh, oh you know? my gosh. With a zero, you know, so I put it where I wanted it and then used, uh, they have a heat, they have a really expensive heat thing that's like 130, they even have like a $200 one. I bought the little $50 like thing, um, and it'll transfer that. It has to get up to like hundreds of degrees, like 350 degrees, something like that. So a typical iron will not do this. Uh, uh, this what about process. the air fryer? The air fryer might work. Set it for 400. I think so. Uh, maybe my oven. Just put the <laughs> yeah, there you neck go. There you go. right into the oven. Um, there you go. So yeah, yeah. Anyway. I thought I found it fascinating. It was a very fun DIY project, especially when there is no merchandise available. The, so yeah, yeah, this, exactly. This little exactly. Uh, uh, announcement. Um, okay, well, before we jump into gadgets, uh, yes. I heard that you were upcycling a few things. Yeah, I, I, I was. I made a little video of, you know, he sent me that great Easter egg full of candy, and I hated to throw it out, and I thought, you know what? I have a use for this. Ah. Hey, Chad. So I'm only partway through the candy uh, in the Easter egg you gave me. Oh, wow. Uh, you did a in good... the interest of recycling stuff, uh, I found a use for <laughs> the top of the egg and the uh, straw, okay? So people used to stare at me because I'm kind of bald, but now. <laughs> now? They don't look at me at all when I walk down the street. <laughs> they I'm try to like, avoid. Hey, Incognito, they just say, yeah. oh, there's nothing different about that man. It's actually, uh, they avoid eye contact now, uh, <laughs> in fact. So it's actually much better. Uh, that is so funny. <laughs> I like so. the uh, the hair. That's my favorite. Of yeah, that. the hair. Yeah, <laughs> you picked a great color. A great color. A, na a natural, are you a natural blue? <laughs> Your, is your hair naturally that straw-like? Wow, it's yeah, really yeah. some nice texture in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't smoke near it, that's all. <laughs> or get near any Easter bunnies. They just yes, go that's berserk. Right. That's Absolutely right. that's, berserk. That's right. Uh, all right, so let's jump into some gadgets. Uh, okay, let's uh, do it here. And, and the first one is because of a gadget you did, I think, just last week. Oh, here yeah. we go. Okay. So I'm going to try and do this with the lights out because the camera just seems to uh, make the light all look the same. All right. It's sort of a variation of the bulb Chad found. Okay. So there's one light. And now there's two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. Six lights. I can tell the colors change. Yes, and a slight. You, you can if you look closely it when it first so six, clicks in. Five. Yeah. Four. Yes, three, you, can, you can see some of the two, changes. One, and we'll stop there. Because I'm blind. Yeah, I was just saying you're the same <laughs> company as the bulb that Chad showed you on need, a you need previous the solar show. And he used glasses. the light switch to vary it between three different brightnesses. So it's from FEIT, F-E-I-T, electric. It's the adjustable white switch, soft white, bright white, natural white, cool white, daylight. And you can do it with the switch or 
This is kind of amazing. The switch is also built into the bulb. All right. That is so. Nice. It's a sixty watt. I, I couldn't believe it. It's like uh, it's I love that they lumens. have the option. Yeah, and I like this idea a lot. And uh, on Amazon, we'll, we'll look at have Chad look again. I think I paid. I think I paid six ninety nine for a box of two. So they're only. Uh, six ninety nine, three fifty each. But we'll go to Amazon. But I love the fact that you can either use the switch or dial it right on the light bulb itself. Now, if you're sitting there and you want a different brightness, just reach up to the bulb and click it along. I mean, it's just built right in. Yeah, yeah. A little arrow points to what you are you uh, using as the bulb light. Pretty nice. This is, I, I got to give it to him. Uh, seem to be doing everything right over there at feet. Cause yeah, uh, I love that you can. I any time that a manufacturer of anything just goes around all the buttons and the UI and just goes, let's just select it. Just just have a selector. Just a normal old switch. Yes. I am. Yes. I applaud you, company. Yes. I just and, and, want it dead simple, and I want it to work. Yes, and I think people do not read the description totally because it only got like 3.8 stars, and I read most of the reviews said, my app cannot find this bulb. <laughs> uh, and it says right on the copy, this is not a smart bulb. Yeah. It, you it's adjust a, it's it. a dumb bulb, which we love. It's a dumb bulb. Yes, you adjust it with the on-off switch like you did with yours. Yeah. Or directly on the bulb. Now, in one part of the copy, it says six choices. It looks like more like it's five choices. But do it with the <laughs> but switch. But one of the choices is turned off. Oh, there you go. There you no go. No light at no all. No light at all. Zero light. Not using the product is a choice. It is. It's a I choice. It's a choice. <laughs> that is, the, uh, the, then the, the price is, uh, I'm not sure oh, if it's because so I'm it, not signed in or not, but about yeah. $4 a bulb. A, a bulb. Yeah. Which to me is, is really decent. I've been so intrigued with this company when we looked at them last week, and it really felt like they, they just... They kept doing these like one use bulbs. Like, okay, do you yeah. want it to change colors? Do you want it to do brightness? Do you want it to have a battery? It really seemed like they were they were looking at a lot of adding just a ton of features just straight into the bulb without the use of an app. Yeah. Which is and, nice. and they they also make smart lighting if you want. They they have they have a line that has an app. Yeah. But uh, a lot of people. Uh, I gotta like say, Dennis. I'm so tired of the yeah. apps. I'm so tired of the apps. I'm done with them. The reason is, is because either this is I'm gonna use an app for an absolutely massive company. It's got to be Philips. You know, Philips Hue. It's got to be like basically Google branded. You know, it needs to be a humongous company that I know that if I buy the $15 light bulb right now, it's gonna work. The next time I want to buy a $15 light bulb, I'm going to stay in... I need the ecosystem to stay the same if I'm going to use an app. Yeah. And when I go and look at Amazon, it's like, it has an app. That is like the biggest downside. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to use your crummy third party. I got to remember which app that that thing uses. Don't want it. I would much rather, especially if it's a third party, something I've never heard of before, want it to be dumb. I just want it to work with the switches. I don't want it to work with the smart home. Um, so I'm all about this. Yeah. This is great. This yeah. is great. Fate Electric. Fate Five Electric. or six-way light bulb. Uh, okie dokie. That is cool. And... Uh, on ah. to A. What the heck? What the heck? Time for... What the heck is it? Uh-uh. Take a peek. What? All right. And this is a real what the heck is it because... We were at line, online at Target, and you know they have all these bins. Uh, huh. As you work your way to the cashier, I, <laughs> and Dennis and I, at, almost at the same time, said, "What is that? The heck are they?" I think it's some type of spike, uh, but I cannot the understand the other. And, 
Oh, okay. Now we the know, other but do I don't you get know? it. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, All right, guess uh, is. Keep the na- keep the neighbors out of the yard. <laughs> Baby Captain shoe stretchers. Baby shoe stretchers. Uh, okay. Ten spike. No. Um, they yeah, I was are. thinking like a ten spike type thing. Beach towel clips. Oh. All right. What so I would have never guessed. I went into the bathroom and got. A towel. Yeah, I think there were. And Dennis, Dennis is going to be the wind. Okay. Oh wow! Whoa! Oh, it's so windy Whoa! here. Oh, it's so windy. <laughs> Let me get one of these. <laughs> you better put it on before the wind starts. Let's see how you. You know what? You have to put it on before the wind starts. Otherwise, this is very hard to do. Uh-uh-uh. So you have to raise that up, and then so this would be. Driven down into the sand, okay. And now we'll uh, do it. Do it from this side with it. There, yeah, um, okay. And this is not all the way clipped in, okay. That's pretty good. And it, so, it finally yeah, came. The wind out. took it away. Yeah. Work fine. <laughs> well, it's right. just in time for summer too. It, it is in time for summer. Yeah. Let me put it in further in. Uh, uh, uh. Like that. Is, you almost need two people yeah. because yeah. That, that, this would also work that for thing is blankets. hard to. Yeah, I mean, it's tight. Put, put, you know, just, You're supposed to get that dirt. all the way back Into to the, the dirt. Hole. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now do it. Now shake it around. Mm-mm-mm. But it should be all the way down to there. But I think this is going to be pretty nifty. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. And they're four bucks. All right. And that was at Target. Beach towel clips, a four piece. I'm not sure they should be all the same color, but they're not. Oh, Scooter X found for 99 cents. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, here um, uh, on Target website, it seems they're three bucks. They're also about three bucks or it's like three twenty five on Amazon. I think it's a clever idea. Yeah, I could see. I could see needing that. Oh, that's the wrong. Where are we going? There we are. Here's the 99 cent one. Oh my gosh. Oh, you get a Oh, well, wait a minute. For each one, or is it 99? Oh, for all four? Yeah, for all four. But honestly, though, just go to Target and get the three, spend $2 extra and just go to Target. And, you, and, and take them home with you. Yeah. Yeah. I also, I feel like uh, you could probably just get one pack for a family of four. I don't know if you need to really. It need your towel to be in all four corners. Oh, I like, see what you're saying. Nailed yeah. down. I feel like just one will stop. Will stop it. Um, I will say, uh, Captain Jay is saying I need to test this out. Uh, going to a beach. I have gone to a beach or two since moving to Florida, and I thought the wind would blow my towel away as well the first time I showed up at a beach. It didn't. And the moment oh. I put my towel down on the ground, the wind went right over. It's like because there was nothing under the towel, the towel didn't, once it was on the sand, it was fine. So and I don't no even one know if these are. On. Just huh? all by itself. Yeah, no, it was. Weight, no weight on it at all. No. Nah. Okay. Okay. Now, may not have been that windy of a beach. Maybe I have a heavy towel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I, I, I did find that I didn't, I didn't need one. Uh, okay. But, but uh, or any, any really, I was like, is this towel going to stay here? And then yeah. it did, so. Well, but if you go to the beach in a hurricane, you're going to need this. <laughs> when I watch a space shuttle launch, who knows what the breeze yeah, is going to be. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Florida must there have you. sticky sand. So, 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 <laughs> so I'm saying. And who knows? My my mileage is definitely, who knows? Mileage may vary, so. Uh, but that's cool. Very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. Um, uh, all right, and now on to my third gadget is this. So the lamp that I have and use in demos is this little guy here. It's also my disco uh, lamp. has no shade. doesn't matter because I use it as a, as a demo lamp. Uh, but uh, I was at Target, and I said to Dennis, you know, I, I should get a new table lamp. And I went, and I just needed a, a, a small, bare-bones kind of lamp. I had one for 20, one for 30, went to Staples. They had one for 30 and one for 40. And I thought, you know, what about Amazon? I was forgetting I buy 
every day of the week, I usually get something from Amazon. So I went to Amazon and I found the table lamp. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, didn't want anything table fancy. Lamp. And this is definitely not fancy. All right. Oh. It's a little guy. It's so itty bitty. And uh, 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 I like the shade. Actually, I like the whole lamp. Do not and Dennis knew about lamp wrapping lampshades, okay. which he'll mention here. Yeah, I'm like one or two of my lampshades. So they wrap shades wrap like around that. it. Uh, they wind it around when they wrap shades. Oh, I see. How they you do. see what I mean? They do that with all shades. They do, isn't that yeah, interesting? Yeah. How did you know that? Because I bought shades. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, yeah. It is so annoying. And you think yes. you can just tear that stuff, right. but you can't. You can't. Isn't that time consuming? It must be, but that's how they do it. Yeah. All right, so then. Yeah, I think that's uh, right. Oh, boy, yeah. this is simple. Okay. So this uh, goes in there. And then and there's then a giant locking nut. This. That is a cute in. little lamp. You know what? Uh, before I even assemble it, the bulb that we did, remember the bulb with the thing? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, put that in it's here. It's a very handsome looking lamp. It looks like something that um, I'd see on 2001 A Space oh, like Odyssey. A yeah, like, yeah, yeah. On the space design. station. I, I, I think it's really. What, what do you think it costs? So oh, my God. A, a, uh, a line switch. That's oh, you know what? Uh, Maybe this will show that bulb that we did. Uh, I'm gonna guess uh, like twenty uh, five. No, it's oh, also that's a bright. good guess. It's all, yeah, it's all very. Oh yeah. It's all very bright. And then go, yeah. Don't what, you have a dead wrong. Uh, oh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I like this lamp a lot. And lamps are not cheap, you know. So let's take a look. Uh, uh, uh. Ten dollars. Oh. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't know when you'll be seeing this. Seventeen percent off. That's roughly a buck seventy. Nine eight dollars and thirty cents. Wow! And Is that it, unbelievable? It comes in a ton of different bases. So you can get a pink shade, a white shade. That is a, oh, 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 there was a, uh, look at uh, that. Now, uh, the, now it's look at expensive. Woo! Over 14 bucks. Anyway, I think this is pretty neat. Uh, and as I said, with the black base, I don't know why it's not going back to, uh, most of them seem to be 15 bucks. When I bought this, which would be uh, early April, it was, uh, 10 bucks. And if that coupon was there, it was just $8.30. That's it. Should have bought two. I should have bought <laughs> two. Uh, it might not be too late. I'll get, if it's still 10 bucks, I'll just get a spare They're one. They're really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. There shall be light, and there shall be shade. I like them. I like them. Yeah, those are, those are uh, pretty cute. I like it. Um, can't complain. Still, only nine bucks. If you join, you know, I'm not signed in. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Uh, if you're not a member, it's fourteen dollars. Right, exactly. So if you're not part right, of but Prime, but the coupon still uh, there, seventeen percent off. Okay, still there. It's, boy, it's still cheap. Yeah, and I like that shade a lot. I think everybody in the chat room has been saying they love the look of it. It looks very yeah. Sweet. It's great. Yeah, it's great. I'll have links up on Saturday chat room, but if not, you can just uh, look for the just type type ten dollar uh, ten dollar lamp or fourteen dollar lamp, and it's an inline switch. Okay, so the switch is not on the lamp, and there are a ton of choices. So if you want a different color base and a different color shade, I think there are a dozen choices there. I like that. I like that a lot. Okie dokie with that. Let's move into... You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, this is uh, the category of on sale or discounted gadgets. Ooh. So uh, I recorded a video earlier, let's check it out. Hey diggity, so we are back at it again with another deal. 
a clearance or saving gadget. And this one is not once discounted, but twice. Look at this. Save $750, right? You pay $2250, but it actually was reduced again to just $12. So not only like we got 50% off the sale price. This thing apparently cost 30 bucks at one point. So this is a charger. It's actually a wireless charger that can go into your car. And its main claim to fame is that it will uh, only take up one cup holder. It is a cup holder charger, but it's a cup holder wireless charger. So you can see this like weird thing through the sides. You're expected to like shove your phone in it what? And then it will do wireless Qi charging. So there it goes in there. Inside, all you get is a cigarette lighter, which luckily my car still does have. So we can plug this in to the cigarette lighter over here. Then this plugs in to the DC outlet on the top. So you still got a wire, but you have a wire now going to the charger like that instead of your phone. Well, that's super duper exciting. Okay, now I wanna charge my phone while well, I gotta take off my thing. And then you just take this and I guess you, you shove it, by the way, the, the lights did come on. So you shove it in. There oh, we go. Oh, the stand, I see. It is not charging. That is That is not, that is not charging my phone. Let's try it the other way. The other see, way. Maybe it maybe it needed. Ah, there we go. So now it is charging. Exciting. That's really kind of all this thing does. It fits into most cup holders. Uh, I would be so sad if it didn't fit into a cup holder. Um, the the wires just right here. Now it's charging, and it does have, as you can see, a USB A and USB C on the top. But there you go. If you want the auto drive cup holder charger, you can now get it at Walmart for only 12 bucks. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Um, I was worried that this would not fit the wider phones. Like there was yeah. just no way. But honestly, this is like, you know, the, the biggest 15 Pro Max iPhone. It actually weirdly fits. <laughs> I didn't it think... I thought my phone was way wider than a cup holder, but uh, but I guess it's not. Oh, oh. So if you don't have any type of wireless charger in your in your car, and you typically just drop your your phone in the cup holder, I'd say this is a really nice alternative. I do like that it leaves the top of the phone uh, seeable, so oh, you can yeah, that's kind of like yeah. check notifications, see the time. Uh, that's kind of cool. I did wish that it had a bit more elegant of a wire situation than just plugging the DC thing right into the top. Because if this was more elegant and nice, it would make my car look nicer. But now <laughs> with this thing just shoved in there, I don't know, don't really love that. And then it has a USB-A and a C on the top. But once again, I don't know why you'd want to use that if your whole point is to not need to uh, have wires going everywhere. So kind of a strange uh, gadget, but uh, pretty good all together. Let's see if I can find uh, uh, the, here it is on uh, Walmart. Uh, it looks like it's not yet uh, fully discounted like we kind of saw with the other one. There's that full price. Oh. 29, I would not, I would not spend $29 on that. There's, there's no possible way in, this earth that I would suggest anyone buy that for 30. For yeah. 30 bucks. Does it say what the output is of like the C charger? So uh, the, yeah, on the top, it does five volts, three amps or nine volts, oh. two amps. Okay. Um, and then that's, uh, that's the USB C and then the USB A. It's funny. It just has it listed right on the top. Five volts at 2.4 amps or nine volts at two amps. So that's not bad. So there you go. Um, and then the wireless output is 10 watts, it says. But honestly, I've had uh, I've heard that that is so unreliable with wireless. It's like if your phone is just like slightly off of the wireless thing, it just it just won't work. Um, for me personally, 
I don't think I like it, honestly. I mean, there's a, there's gotta be some other wireless solution and, and taking up a full cup holder, it just doesn't seem that great. So honestly, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. <laughs> I think it's in the crappy corner. Anyway, oh. Michael found the Michael bought one on Amazon for nineteen dollars. Oh, okay. Mm. See, like rather plug in with CarPlay. See, this is the thing. It, iTech mentions uh, CarPlay in Android Auto, and absolute. If your car has a CarPlay or Android Auto in it, that's really all. You just plug that. You know, do that. Uh, honestly. Uh, okay, great. Uh, with that. Let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, oh, oh. Our video of the week is from someone who is often in chat, Rachel Z's, a.k.a. Sims to Rachel. Woohoo! And Rachel has a video about I did bins a couple of times in a row. I found expensive bins and then cheap uh, bins. So here's Rachel's take on bins. Hi, Dick and Chad. Uh, last week I was at the show live taping and had these uh, wonderful storage containers that uh, Dickie D was talking about. Oh, wait. Wait, these are the ones that I bought before I saw D Dickie D's ones. They're awesome. They're very much like what he had, except mine are 19 gallon instead of 8 gallon, I think he said. But otherwise, exactly the same. And then these are the other ones I got. Mm. There are six of them. Uh, unlike this wonderful set, there are, <laughs> each one doesn't have its own top. There's only a grand total of two tops for six containers, meaning you can do two sets of three if you want. Um, these are very, very small. Small. They do not have <laughs> handles. They are very flimsy. Um. Yeah, so my other ones I'm using to hold 3D filament. I could maybe fit three rolls in there. Something yeah, like that. Not limited. No, oh, that one looks like see. the back is falling off already. Okay, <laughs> it is at least deep enough. But is it tall? Oh, it is tall enough. So maybe four. But still, not very many. Um, so I did not put them all together because I am sending them back. Ah. I am not impressed. They are like the tiny, tiny babies, I guess, uh, of my other ones. So these good ones that I got, they were on a very special sale. Like I said, they're 19 gallons. Get a set of four, regularly 270. Amazon was having a lightning deal. And then there was an additional coupon that uh, I saw on SlickDeals.net that made them $81. Hmm. Well, so well, I got them and they're four. so great. So that's when I decided I would get something else. These ones, 23 quarts, six of them, regularly $70. And with the coupon, or not the coupon, it was a lightning deal last week. They were 48 which is still not worth it. Not even worth 48 again. So I'm sending them back because I have a bunch of craft supplies I wanted to put in them. And I'm like, the fact Not that they don't enough. have handles and they don't individually have lids is kind of a deal breaker because. So just sitting next to the, the other lids, ones, you can tell. <laughs> you can that. tell. I'm pulling the lid oh off my and God. it's ah! apart. It's just, it's garbage. Um, so don't buy those. And I did, they've been having a ton of deals on these sorts of things lately. So yesterday, there was another lightning deal. It was the same type as this one. Looks exactly the same, but different branding. Uh, on Amazon, it was on a lightning deal. Regularly 180 for a set of four, and it was down to 108. And I'm like, well, I'm sending the other ones back. So, you know, basically paid for half of it. Actually did pay, yeah, pretty much exactly half of it. So we'll see. I'm guessing they're going to be much better. Hopefully as good as my first ones. All right. So I'd let you guys know what I thought. So yeah. thoughts. Bye. This is great. 
I feel like Rachel, we're getting it directly thank you. Though, from yeah, the, the source. Those, <laughs> the, the, those cheapy ones looked awful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, my, the, I bought, uh, I sent one more link. I bought a second set. So there's a whole that, bunch of, yeah, links to go Oh, to. yeah, so th those was, look dreadful. Yeah. And then this is the, uh, these are 19 gallon four pack for 188. But I think this was what was being discussed because this is 180, but look at this $40 coupon. Yeah. I'm also not signed in, so maybe less than that. And then was this the one you added? Yeah. And, and you know what? I got, when I bought mine, they were two for $25. They're not quite as good as the ones Rachel has and the ones I first bought. But fortunately, I liked them enough that I bought six of them. But now they're $25 each. Yeah. Uh, and when I bought them, they were two for $25. Yeah. Is... These, it's uh, like a bin market. It's like it's yeah, buy, yeah. buy. And, and Rachel's right. There's suddenly, there's suddenly like a, a dozen different companies making these. <laughs> yes. Uh, of all different sizes and qualities. Ah, and so, and we just got an update. The second set of good ones came, and they are exactly the same. That's good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're looking for bins. Yeah, I don't know why they're, they're uh, doing it in gallons. Mine were done in gallons. Yeah. I got the nine, I think I got the 19 gallon uh, version. <gasps> yeah, so I think this is the 13 gallon, gallon yeah, version. Go. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, yeah, that's really funny. Okay, well, uh, thank you for the, uh, for the update. And Rachel, the, um, that's great. Yeah, I feel like we did like, investigative reporting of like all the different options this is awesome so and, and rachel uh, rachel said if she win uh, she's going to get a mad could she get last month's issue which is the taylor swift issue oh, yeah. and you can the stinky the stinky issue yes. love is love stinks that's great uh how can people send in their videos okay anything to do with a gadget okay make a video one to three minutes, you can be in it if you want, or like Rachel's video, uh, just make sure we can see the gadget and hear your voice and you can describe it. Uh, put it up on YouTube. When you upload a video to YouTube, there's a drop down menu. It can be public so anybody can see it, but most of the time people pick unlisted and you'll get a URL from YouTube and send that to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. Um, just make sure that you use the uh, horizontal format and anything to do with the gadget. We love old technology. We love new things like here. Here we found a couple of brands you can rely on and one that is a piece of crap. Uh, so make a video, get it to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. Anything to do with a gadget. That's perfect. Okay, Scooter X may have oh another bin option. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's hear Let's read through these specs. Uh, 78 quarts. Oh no, we cannot switch <laughs> measuring <laughs> units. Okay, my poor American mind cannot comprehend yes. uh, the, the switch, but three pack five pack oh my gosh look how big that is if that is actually they are they are <laughs> if this big. is a good representation holy yeah that's cow. Massive. That's they big. actually look kind of decent four quarts to a gallon how many is it 19.5 gallons is what eric duckman says oh okay yeah 90 yeah yeah that's that's sort of a problem on some of them it'll say uh 19 quarts, 38 quarts, but it's not that the bin is bigger, it's that it's two 19 quart bins. <laughs> right. Th that, it's that like that one, that one thing that was like, this is 14,000 degrees of, of, it was 14, I think it was 1400 degrees of motion. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It wasn't yes. 360, it was no, 1044. Yes. Yeah, and they had just like added up. <laughs> 
This is so silly. Uh, it's a marketing breakthrough. Okay, with that, let's move on to the letter. Now, our letter is from Lori Helms, and she said, I thought of you guys when I saw the description of these wipes. Please see the attached photo. <laughs> Love the show, Lori. So zoom in on that. Okay. Prepar it's Preparation H medicated wipes <laughs> with advanced wipe technology we love advanced wipe technology well, old I mean, I, I old wipe technology yeah. looked a lot like this yeah old disgusting advanced wipe technology looks exactly. like this exactly <laughs> that is hilarious. yeah that is a good catch. That is a that great is, catch. That is advanced wipe. Advanced <laughs> wipe. God, there was no video demo. <laughs> just... Yeah, I do not need the preparation H witch hazel demonstration. Thank oh, you. God, that, that is, is so funny. Yeah. Wendell said I have the no wipe technology. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the cheap brand. Yeah. yeah. Oh that my is, gosh. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this joke. No, I know. There's nothing you can. There's just too much, much preparation. H yeah. is there. The, yeah. the wipes are there. Oh my gosh, that is I know. too too funny. Yeah. Very good catch. Uh, the wipe. Yeah. <laughs> Lori, thank wipe. you for that. No wipe technology, and that's no. Uh. <laughs> Uh, with that, I guess we should say thank you to our patrons over patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so much for your support of our show. We appreciate it so, 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 so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We love to take a moment of our show and just say thank you to everybody who supports our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz or head to our website gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab. And there's a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon page or a tiny little link that'll take you to PayPal. Thank you guys once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Every time we're live, the website will update with the live stream so you can chat along with everybody, see it live. And, uh, and hang out with us as uh, we uh, talk about some gadgets. If there's ever a schedule change, it'll be there at the top of the website. And uh, all of our previous episodes are there. Gizwiz.tv, so you can check them out and watch at your leisure. Also, head on over to the YouTube page or find us on Apple Podcasts or all over the net. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website. He writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you're ever needing a link or a descriptor of any of the gadgets that we talk about, head on over there. And while you're there, play the real what the heck is it? Now, this is, well, honestly, we are like two weeks away from this being revealed. This is the yes. second to last Thursday in April. I know. The time is going so fast, and you're playing for the da ah, There it Mad is. Mad Roast Comedy, the June issue of Mad. Man, I have definitely, I, I think fried comedy is my favorite. I can do a roast, <laughs> you know? More of a deep yeah. fried comedy fan but uh, i like air fried comedy because Ooh, less it's calories it's a much lighter kind yes of i like that i like that uh so if you think you know what this gadget is get a guess and gizwiz.biz six man magazines for correct answers 12 man magazines for funny clever or hilarious answers so uh get a guess and uh this is uh, obviously the um eclipse glasses uh for the the egg eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I mean, and you didn't see the, the great egg eclipse of 1992? Well, these are some holdovers from, uh, from that, that season. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. Gizwiz.biz. 
And you gotta do it like now or next week. So, cause uh, that'll be swapping out uh, at the end of the month. With Correct. that, I think that about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. Uh, um, a photo. Uh, a photo. Uh, uh. I'll do. What? 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 In three, two. Nice. Mm -hmm. We'll use something in that. That's good. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, um. Now with wipe technology. <laughs> Advanced wipe technology. Uh, uh, um. Liters and gallons and pints. Oh, wow. I saw someone said, what's up? What's one. up? I like that. What's up? Yeah, that was a good that? one. Yeah, I like that one. What's okay, up? Okay, that's good. In three, two, it's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1984, recorded Thursday, April 18th, 2024. What's up? Perfect. Perfect. Chat room, thank you so much. And we'll see you next Wednesday for Fizz and Thursday for Wiz. Yeah. That was awesome, great. Awesome. Okie dokie. Okay, Chad, take care. Take care, everybody. Bye, see you. Thanks, Dickie D. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Thank Scooter you. X. Thank you, everybody okay. in the chat. Y'all are the best. Bye. Bye. Bye, Becky. Bye, Lindy. Thanks for coming by, everybody. <laughs> Sims to Rachel, thank you. Bye.